Okay, in light of uh, <laughs> a couple of videos getting popped up on YouTube on these uh, little um, early 80s uh, televisions, <laughs> I had one in the closet and I figured it was time to dig it out. It obviously needs a little cleaning and uh, both internally and uh, cosmetically. It definitely has some dirt on it, but... Uh, the controls are a bit dirty, but let's uh, start with the radio real quick. And classic hits, power 97.7. Today's farm machinery can easily reach the Radio works. It's starting to come to life now that the controls are getting worked. So we've got... Uh, a, so we've got FM and AM is kind of starting to work now. Let's uh, see what we can pick up on TV. And there we go. We got KMOS. So it's picking that up just fine. Now I'm just waiting to see how uh, long I can keep y'all going on that. Let's... Uh, Let's see what else we can get. Ooh, here's the weather. The volume on that's like all the way up. <laughs> Let's go back. So... I'm actually just got some rabbit ears hooked up here and of course because you kind of have to I'm using a uh, DTV converter at the back of this thing you know I've got AC and it's got a DC and on the bottom it's got a uh, batteries it's got a what's gonna call it a little three and a half inch mini plug and you can see even with it unplugged you, it's still getting a picture off of it just from uh, just from what little output the DTV converter has this is the only way I could get to rig it or could find a rig it to pull, push the signal into it it's just out of you know it just kind of shove it in and then ground it to an RCA it worked so I'm not gonna complain but uh let's see oh whoops I needed to test something before I turned it on mainly to make sure that little cable worked but let's uh let's take a look at it. this is a general electric go ahead and turn that volume down oh actually let's just go ahead and hit the off button don't need that on anymore but uh kind of clean some things up here so we can this is a model number 7-7150A General Electric Company Syracuse New York go orange <laughs> made in Korea and uh it uses right there it shows nine D cells 16 watts input and right there it's got a 800 number for a question answer center it's got a rod antenna right here which I don't know if that's for the uh, FM as well or just for the uh, TV and she's stiff she needs some WD-40 Let's pop it up on the side here and show the compartment with the uh, D cell batteries. Now I'll show you there. It shows manufactured September 1984. I got this thing for free sometime back, but I can't remember who gave it to me. Oh, cool. If you notice, antenna replacement screw. So you can, it's um, replace your antenna. I'll just go ahead and leave that there for a second so you can see the numbers and see 9D cells. Now another inter sticker of interest in here. And I'll let you pause it there. It does have a recharge option. I don't know how it um 
I don't know how you, uh, what's the word, tell it to recharge or not. I'm going to assume it just somehow figures it out. So, um, oh, duh, that's how it does it. That extra terminal right there is the recharge terminal, I bet. I guess, I bet that's what that is. But anyway, let's uh, go ahead and pop that back in. And uh, that's, again, she's a little rough. Kind of a pretty good sized speaker. What is that? Two, three inch speaker right there? Yeah, at least a three inch speaker there. Uh, so that's the General Electric portable television. On this side, you got a V-hold, brightness, and a contrast. Brightness was up to about 80%, so I'm guessing the tube's a little on the weak side, but it's not going to be, can't hate to say this, but it's not going to see too much more use since the need for these things has kind of dropped, though so we all know it's relatively easy to, uh, hold on, to hack a DTV converter to run on 12 volts. And power inverters are also e an easy uh, thing to find. And if you notice, DTV convert this one is small enough; it fits nicely on top to set. So if it weren't for the fact you're covering up the handle right there, you could almost just Velcro the thing to the top. So a combo like this still would have its uses. I'm not sure where, but it does. Since you can hook up that external antenna, though, you could even get an adapter, an RF modulator, and uh, hook up a DVD player 